Hello lovelies! So this week I'm actually going to show you how we're going to make a chain. So there's two big things in tatting. Like the two biggest, most basic things is rings and chains. There's other things that really make tatting into works of art, but these are some of the basics that you need to get down in order to continue with the craft. So in order to make a chain, we're going to start with a ring, just because it's easier for beginners to have something to base things off of. Oh, um, and I should note, actually, before we dive into that, you actually need two shuttles wound up with thread on each end, tin can, tin can uh, conversation devices style. So anyway, one, one, and I'm not going to make anything like real elaborate. Two, And we're just going to make it a really small ring since that's not the purpose of this. Okay, so we have our little ring. What we're going to want to do is wrap this around our hand as if we're starting another ring, but instead kind of grab it with our pinky. So I'm going to do a couple times. And then what we're going to do here is take our other shuttle and ooh, my phone went, decided to turn down its brightness, calm down. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the other shuttle, not the one we did the ring with, because that's our core thread here. And we're going to take the other one and then simply put double stitches on it. Oops, it got away from me. Grab it back. And if that ever happens to you, make sure that the little nub is on the top. That way you can ensure everything is in the same direction. And there you have it. That's your chain. That's a chain. And of course, pull it nice and tight. This is a really short chain. I'm trying not to waste thread and the shuttle's running out because I split it between two and I already used it for a few videos. But yeah, so you keep doing that. And then since this one was the core thread for this part, we can actually flip it over, which is called reverse work, reversing the work. And you can unfold it a bit more here. Oops, uh-oh. You're going to basically make another ring. I know how to finger tat because I've been doing this for a while, so I'm just going to, I, I wanna cover finger tatting in another video, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and hop right back in once I've got the ring about to close. And we're back, so another very small ring. And we're just going to pretend that this has a shuttle on it. And we're going to continue pulling, making sure to hold that end so it doesn't get knotted up. And there you go. And then you can flip it back over and continue again. And you'll have, so pretend that this is a shuttle. And you'll just do more of those double stitches. Got that a little tangled up. Uh-oh. What have I done? But here's the thing. If your double stitches aren't perfect on a chain, it's not the end of the world because generally those don't slide. And I am really running out of thread. This is probably not going to be the best video for teaching, but... I can always re-record another one later on if this proves to be con too confusing. But yeah, pretend that this has a little shuttle on it and whoop. And then this is the other, this was, this thread would hold the other shuttle. So, and there you have it. Another little chain coming off of this. So rings and chains, they are two very, very key elements with tatting. So, yep. And the key with the tension is just trying to make sure your tension is even throughout so that way your double stitches are all about the same size. It doesn't matter if you prefer to have your 
double stitch is a little looser or a little tighter you'll feel you'll feel out what you want later on you don't have to have everything figured out right now just getting the technique down that's the important thing everything else can come a little later see you in the next video bye bye